Cell Town. Item number SCP-4243. Object Class Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. A barrier has been constructed 100 meters around SCP-4243's perimeter. SCP-4243 is to be constantly monitored for breaches in its wall. Standard disinformation, aircraft redirection, and satellite imagery doctoring protocols apply. During explorations of SCP-4243, no personnel are to enter the basements of houses unless specifically ordered to by the head researcher. SCP-4243-A instances are kept in BSL-3 compliant humanoid containment cells at Site-234 for study. Description: SCP-4243 is the ghost town, Frogtail, in northern Nevada, USA. SCP-4243 is comprised of approximately 350 houses, 200 cars, and 20 storefronts. Houses within SCP-4243 autonomously construct themselves from piles of wood, metal, and stone located in large dumps throughout SCP-4243. These houses possess additional anomalous properties depending on their type. Storefronts are entirely non-anomalous. SCP-4243-Blue are blue houses capable of freely moving along roads by scuttling with dozens of loose planks on their undersides. After an average two years from formation, SCP-4243-Blue instances move to a small park and break down into rubble, which then moves into the nearby Jackson Dump to form new houses. SCP-4243-Red are, on average, the largest group of houses present. SCP-4243-Red instances encompass a variety of shapes and styles, consistent with typical American housing architecture from the 1850s to 1950s. SCP-4243-Red instances mostly remain within six specific parking lots, although a few of them move slowly along the streets. If a vehicle is driven into the town, or a new building is erected within the town, SCP-4243-Red instances will mobilize and attempt to destroy the intruder. See Exploration Log 4243-1. SCP-4243-Brown instances are brown houses fused together at their edges to form a crude wall around the city limits three houses thick and do not move individually. SCP-4243-Brown instances in the outermost row crumble and blow away after about one month, upon which a new house will form just inside of the innermost row. Breaching the integrity of the city wall results in several SCP-4243-Red and blue instances moving rapidly to the breach. SCP-4243-Red instances will attempt to destroy the cause, while SCP-4243-Blue instances will escape outside the town until the breach is sealed by nearby cars, autonomously driving to the breach and fusing to the wall. Records from within SCP-4243 suggest it was founded in 1871 by an individual named Ulysses M. Wallover and abandoned in 1952. However, no historical records note the existence of either the town or Wallover. While evidence within SCP-4243 suggests it had a population as high as 1,500 at its peak, no human remains have been found. Exploration Log 4243-1 On February 31st, 2012, MTF Mu-101, House Hunters, was deployed to investigate SCP-4243. Abridged Log 1000 MTF Mu-101 attempts to enter through the front door of an SCP-4243-Brown instance. 1010. Upon discovering a lack of interior-facing doors, MTF agents blow a hole in the wall with demolition charges. 1011. The house collapses. MTF agents evade four SCP-4243-Blue instances escaping through the breach. Outside backup reports these houses subsequently becoming inactive within 20 minutes. 1012. 20 automobiles of various makes autonomously drive to the breach and pile up, fusing to the walls to seal the breach. Agent Campana is trapped between two cars but is freed safely. 1016. SCP-4243-Red instances arrive. The larger instances open their garage doors and attempt to engulf the team, while the smaller instances open their windows and doors to release several dozen pieces of furniture each. 1028. The team partially splits to avoid the SCP-4243-Red instances. Three agents, Tennyson, Takala, and Palacio, enter an SCP-4243-Blue instance about 0.5 kilometers from the breach. The furniture within the house is organized into several large piles. 
Electrical wiring is not located within the walls, but instead strung haphazardly throughout. 10.30. Agent Palacio enters the basement, a small concrete room with several hundred pages of blueprints lining the floor, lit by a single light bulb. 10.31. Agent Palacio lifts up a page to inspect it, and is pulled into the pile of paper. The house begins to shift and vibrate. 10.34. Agents Tennyson and Takala observe several interior walls changing position and manifesting new furniture. Four new doors appear in the house, and several dozen duplicates of Agent Palacio emerge from these doors and run to other houses. 1037. Agents Tennyson and Takala escape the house as it collapses. Approximately 400 instances of Agent Palacio have now been produced by the house. 1046. Agents Tennyson and Takala regroup with most of the other agents. SCP-4243-RED instances have released hundreds of identical wooden desks, which latch onto any agent Palacio duplicates they encounter and immobilize them, until the SCP-4243-RED instances can engulf and consume them. 16 SCP-4243-BLUE instances have been destroyed by the duplicates. 1048. Remaining agents decide to retreat, while the SCP-4243-RED instances are occupied. 1109. Agents successfully breach the wall again, and exit. 11.36. Last of the Agent Palacio duplicates destroyed by SCP-4243. End log. Following this, two students in Greenspun Junior High School in Henderson, Nevada, Casey and Austin Wallover, were hospitalized with what initially appeared to be a severe viral infection. Within 24 hours, the patients began to exhibit gradual conversion of tissue to drywall, wood, stone, and metal. The infectious agent was discovered to be microscopic humanoid viruses, with genetic material matching Agent Palacio. Foundation agents quickly enacted a cover-up, and the children were placed under Foundation custody as SCP-4243-A.